polynomial equation from graph. Find the equation of the given quintic polynomial function. So it is odd degree polynomial function given to us and the degree is quintic means 5. So the degree is 5 for the polynomial. That is to say that when you write in the factored form then the exponents added up should be 5. So we can write down our function f of x as equals to a times so a is your leading coefficient and let's start counting the x intercepts as factors. So the first factor is here at minus 5. So it'll give you x plus 5 here, right? The next one is at 0. So if it is x and it seems it bounces back, so it is of order 2. Now the next one is at 4, so which could be written as x minus 4. And since it also bounces back, it could be of order 2. Now if we combine these, so when you multiply, you actually add exponents. So you get 2 plus 2, 4 plus 1, 5. It matches. So it perfectly matches, right? If I would have given you a different here, nonic, for example, right? So degree 9. In that case, you should have written these as different orders. Could be nonic means 4 and 4, 8 and 1, 9, right? So, so those exponents, you have to match with given value, okay? Now, to find the value of a, we are already given a point here, and this point is that at x equals to 5, y value is 1.25. So we have x equals to 5. We'll write down this value. 5 is 5 plus 5, which is 10, and 5 squared, which is 25, times 5 minus 4, which is 1, right? So let's calculate this f of 5 is given to us as 1.25 and we have here a so a is 10 times 25 times 1 so it is 10 times 25 is 250 so a is equals to 1.25 divided by 250 right so that is like 1 over 200 right so that we get value of a as 1 over 200 correct so that is the value of A. Now once you get the value of A, you can finally write down your specific function out of the family of curves which you started with, right? So now we can say our function is 1 over 200 times x plus 5 times x square times x minus 4 whole square, right? So that is how you can get equation from the graph. It's kind of critical to get the value of a from the given point. If the point is not given to you, then you can only write family of the function, right? As we started with. So that is the family, right? And this is specifically unique function as given to us here. And it's unique because we know a point on the function, right? Okay, thank you.